Hey everyone, this is Kurt Chan, Technical Evangelist at Autodesk, and today I want to walk you through a couple of tips and tricks in using the Sculpt command. So let's just dive right in. Uh, the first thing I want to show you is really trying to create the shape around this uh, bicycle frame. And, you know, there's a couple different techniques that we can take, but, you know, one that a lot of people don't know about is actually under the under sculpt. When you drop down, we are all familiar using the box and the, a lot of these primitives, but we can dive in and use the face command. And with the face command, I find it really interesting because it gives you a little bit more flexibility and a lot of people don't know about the tips and tricks in, in using this technique. So first off, if I wanna start creating this geometry, I'm just gonna start really creating kind of faces or surfaces, I like to call it, in the geometry. So all you need to do is just kind of start clicking around and you can see it's starting to form the shape that I want here. Now, this is actually really key, right? Technically, I don't have to go all the way around and start creating individual faces. I can actually use the edit form command. Now, if I click on an edge, right click, I have the access to edit form and it brings up the triad that we're all very familiar with. Now, we know that if I grab any one of these, these, these movements on the triad, it can let me, you know, it, rotate, pan it around. If I want to move it in a planar direction, I can definitely do that. All the basic things you do with the, the primitives. But the cool thing is that if I actually hold down the Alt command or the Alt key and drag, it's of course going to start adding more geometry or adding more faces here. And I can start making things fatter or thinner, doing whatever I want. But I'm given now the flexibility just to start working my way all the way around and start creating this geometry. So what I want to do is not bore you with all the stuff that I'm doing here in in recreating the actual frame. Let's kind of hop forward into one uh, one piece I actually created just so we can kind of dive a little bit deeper now. So you can see that I can now not only leverage the, the triad to manipulate and add more faces, but now once I have that created, I wanna show you some other things in, in working with the scope command. Is that if I drop down under modify, see how I, I don't know how to connect these two faces together here? How's that gonna look? I can get up edge to edge. Well, if I actually leverage under modify, come down here to one called merge edge, what I want to do is select the edge I want to work with. I'm just clear this out. Select this edge. Now, under group two, I'm going to pick both of these edges together. Select OK, and it's going to now merge those two edges, that long edge with these two edges together. Really, really slick. Okay, so I want to start thickening it up and adding more geometry. The next part is how do we thicken it, and, and what approach can we take? We can actually go up to modify thicken, drop all the way down here. That's one approach you guys are familiar with. But but one thing, I'm a traditional CAD guy, and I always love you know working with extrudes, revolves, uh, swept commands. And, and if you use the extrude command, go and access extrude command, and I'm going to go in and select the profile that I want, all those faces. Now, I can actually go through and add symmetry right there, embed the symmetry, as well as let me go in and give this a thickness right off the bat so you can see how that's going to look just like that. So now I've thickened it up, added symmetry, and you can tell that I've added symmetry because of the green line all the way around. So a couple cool things from, from that avenue. Going to hit OK, and now I have kind of that, that, that rough sculpture of that pillowish type of look that if I even started off with the, the box approach if I wanted to and it started to go around in that way. So let's kind of move a little bit further and kind of talk about some other techniques and uh, start creating just maybe this, this back side. So let's dive right in. So from here now, if I grab this back edge, you can see that both sides are actually highlighting. If I right click once again, access edit form, let's talk about this edit form area and you see where the triad actually pops up. Now this is great because if I actually start rotating, I'm gonna start getting that geometry that I want, but what do you notice about what's going on with the geometry as I rotate it? It's rotated in along the center of that triad well, let's say if I want a different type of geometry creation, how about if I want to move the triad? So if I'm going to control Z, typical window shortcuts, I'm going to go ahead and access now back the triad through edit form. And at the very top right here, what you'll see is that with the triad, we get this little um, reorient icon where I can 
click on that, and I can actually position this triad anywhere I want. And now if I rotate it, first I have to accept. You notice that if I move it, it's not gonna do anything. First I have to accept with the green check mark, and now rotate it, and it's now gonna rotate in relationship to where I moved it to. So I just wanted to give you guys a couple different avenues of what we can go down of, of you know not only working with that triad but then rotating it in, in different arenas so let's go ahead and just move forward I'm gonna go and edit the form I can actually hold down the alt key once again and just start now adding more geometry just like that and really just start sculpting things out and I don't want to bore you here with everything but I just want to quickly kind of create some geometry just like that let's kind of get this out here take this same approach right down here you want to zoom right in, select both of these faces, just like that. Hold down Alt, and this is how we can start sculpting it. I want things to kind of change, so I can just rotate it, position it how I want things to go. Hold down the Alt key again, and just start really creating that geometry. And the reason why I'm walking you through this is because I'm, I want to kind of get to the steak and potatoes now and show you another great technique that's, that's really cool when you got kind of two pieces now that that come together and, and and this is you know just just some tips and tricks but you know hopefully this gives you guys a great idea of how how we can kind of work with this stuff so we'll just rotate it just like this and I want these two guys to come together so what we're gonna do now is under the modify command if you drop down to something called bridge and what bridge actually allows me to do it's very similar to like the the merge edge in that planar direction of working with working with those edges. But what I can do is I can say, well, let me pick this side, that face, as well as this face, pin on the geometry, say okay, and what it's gonna do is actually gonna bridge those two pieces together to kind of form how those two pieces would, would, would actually merge together. Now you see it's kind of, you know, not, not as sharp that I want it to be, but now I can actually come in and really just start working with geometry, right? I can pick what I want. So pick maybe the face that I want, and really start tweaking it around, moving it around, doing what I want with that geometry at hand. And I think this is really key because we're now giving you that flexibility, kind of tightening up just like that. Now I'm kind of creating and I got a nice, nice piece that I might want. Even if I wanted to, I can fix that back end. And then two really move forward now. And if I want, I can grab this, all these faces here, for example. So window select. Grab these guys just like this. And now if I want to, I could zoom in. And I'll go and just deselect some faces maybe that I don't want. Right click, edit form. And with the edit form feature, we're now looking on the avenue of just kind of dragging this area out to kind of separate that piece, just like how it might be with, with a bike. And there we go. So hopefully this gives you guys an idea of different ways we can leverage using the sculpt command in merging faces or merging edges as well as using the bridge techniques as well. Thanks again.